in this episode of Tesla Cam Stories. JJ was backing his Model 3 out of his driveway one regular morning in Austin, Texas. As he made his way down the street, he slowed down to stop at a stop sign just like he does every morning. This time, he hadn't even reached the stop sign before a Toyota came flying around the corner. He tried to swerve out of the way, but the Toyota hit JJ's Tesla head on. When he got out of his Tesla, JJ realized his right arm wasn't okay. After he called 911 to report the accident, the fire department, the police department, and an ambulance all responded to the scene. The paramedics checked JJ's arm and concluded that it was broken. Thankfully, the Toyota's driver and passengers were unharmed. The firefighters used absorbent material to clean up the fluids that were leaking from the Toyota. Since the Tesla doesn't have any gasoline, engine oil, or transmission fluid, there wasn't anything leaking from it for them to clean up. Next, the police officers jumped into action. The Tesla cam footage made it easy for them to determine what had happened, and they gave the other driver two citations, one for reckless driving and the other for driving uninsured. If the cost to repair the damage is worth 75% or more of what the car was worth, it'll be considered totaled. Since the other driver was uninsured, it's now up to JJ's insurance to pay for the repairs or replace the car with a new Tesla. Here's a picture of JJ's arm in a cast. Wham bam, get well soon, man. We're sending you a wham bam hoodie to lift your spirits while you wait for both your arm and your Tesla to get fixed. Nadia was driving her Model 3 on the Newark Turnpike in New Jersey. All of a sudden, the Tesla gave her an accident warning chime and automatically applied the brakes. At first, she couldn't understand why. That's when the Hyundai in front of her started to reverse. In response, she laid on the horn until the car stopped. That's when she saw this Chrysler. The passenger of the Chrysler was halfway out of the car when it started rolling backward. He tried to close the door, but it hit the Hyundai and missed the Model 3 by inches. The passenger in the back seat dove out of the moving car to save himself since the door was stuck open. He would have been crushed if he hadn't. It turned out this whole thing was caused by a three vehicle accident that occurred in the traffic piling up ahead. Of course, it became a four car accident after the Chrysler rolled into the Hyundai. Corbinian was driving his Model 3 in Bavaria, Germany, when another Model 3 in front of him tried to overtake, but didn't see an oncoming car. The Tesla appeared to launch him back into his lane, saving the big slide. The driver then continued with the overtake he had already started. Yug from Vancouver, Canada wrapped his Model 3 in rose gold chrome and satin black and named it Rosie the Tesla. Let's just say Rosie definitely gets some attention. One night as he was driving, a Chevrolet driver who was cruising behind him decided to move into the right lane to get a better look. The Chevy driver then rolled his window down to get an even better look. As Yug came to a stop at a red light, the other driver was so distracted looking at the Tesla that he rear-ended the car in front of him. Yug pulled over and provided the Tesla cam footage to the victim. The police were called, but the Chevy driver drove off before they showed up. Yug thinks that the guy was a little drunk as he seemed to be slurring his words. Of course, Yug also thinks that could just be the way the guy talks. Yug stayed with the victim and provided the cops with a copy of the Tesla cam video as well. The police officers and firefighters were laughing hysterically as they watched the video that Tesla had captured. Kevin was driving his Model 3 home from an appointment in Raleigh, North Carolina when he approached a stoplight. When the light turned green, he started driving through when he heard screeching tires and saw a cloud of smoke in his rearview mirror. At first, he thought it was someone who was trying to race him at the light, but check out what he found when he got home and reviewed the Tesla cam footage. 
Mike was stopped at a red light in his Model 3 behind a Lexus driver who was signaling to turn right. When the light turned green, they started their right turn, but then they unexpectedly stopped and reversed right into Mike's Tesla. It happened really fast, and Mike says he had no time to react. They both got out of their vehicles and assessed the damage. The Lexus driver apologized and accepted responsibility. Mike asked him what he was doing, but the other driver didn't have an explanation. They exchanged insurance information, and the Lexus driver's insurance covered the cost of the repairs, which came to just over 4,000 US dollars. Here's a video from Darren, who was driving his Model 3 in Chicago, Illinois. Let's pause the video right here and play a little game. Do you think that this truck will A, roll coal, B, ram Darren, or C, behave? Okay guys, all bets are in, let's roll the coal. I mean, let's roll the video. Sure enough, the truck rolled coal on Darren, who says he saw it coming when the truck lined up on him. In response, he gave the driver a very ironic thumbs up as he passed by. Time for round two. Joseph was driving his Model 3 down California State Route 99 when this huge dually truck with spokes on his rims pulled up next to him. Do you think this truck will A, roll coal, B, ram Joseph, or C, behave? The truck driver intentionally changed lanes, ramming Joseph and almost causing him to lose control. The truck then sped off, making this an intentional hit and run. Joseph called the police, and hopefully this will be an easy job for them, thanks to the Tesla cam footage, which shows a clear image of the license plates. Joseph filed an insurance claim for the estimated $12,500 US dollars in damages, all of which is being covered by his insurance. We asked Joseph for the original video file instead of just a phone recording of the screen, but he told us the SSD is still in the car, which is currently in the repair shop. He sent us this picture of the Tesla in the shop. We'll be sure to show you the higher quality video in a future episode. Alexi was driving his Model Y in Montreal, Quebec, Canada when he was passed by someone who had a rather unique method of transporting a chair. Christian from California sent us this clip that illustrates what might happen if you try doing that. Luckily, he managed to swerve away from the chair in the road, this time. He also sent us this video from last year, which didn't end as well. Back in July of 2020, he ran over a wild kayak that was flying around on the highway. This resulted in damage that cost 9,000 US dollars to repair. Angelo was waiting at a red light in his Model 3 in Hollywood, California when a BMW driver cut through traffic to make an illegal turn over a double yellow line. The driver stuck her hand out of the window to thank the drivers who let her through. She proceeded to put the hammer down and accelerated directly into Angelo, hitting his Tesla head on. Angelo was shocked. When the woman backed up, he thought she was planning to assess the damage, but she just took off. We can see her drive away in the left repeater camera. Another driver who witnessed the accident took this cell phone video. Angelo called the police, but they never showed up. Instead, they called him later that evening to make a police report. Angelo then contacted his insurance company and they took care of repairing the damage, which cost about 12,500 US dollars. Here's a picture from the service center report and here's a picture Angelo took when he picked it up after it spent a month in the repair shop. Speaking of BMW drivers, Luda from Denmark sent us this video. Sean was sitting in his Model 3 in a parking lot when a lady pulled up next to him. He watched carefully in his side view mirror when she got out. Just as he was afraid of, when she got out, he heard her door hit his car. He immediately confronted her and she claimed she had put her wallet between her car door and the Tesla. He was sure he saw her door hit his car, but he thought maybe his eyes were tricking him. 
He reviewed the sentry mode footage, which clearly showed the wind catching her door. Obviously, it was just an accident, but Sean doesn't understand why she decided to lie about it. She had a company decal on her back window, which he took a picture of. Later, he emailed her and asked for her insurance information, but she never responded. Her actions left a small dent, and Sean wants your help deciding what to do. Do you think he should just let it go, or should he keep pursuing her? Let us know in a comment. This Model Y owner in California was sitting in traffic when, all of a sudden, he got bumped into by a Toyota behind him. If we check out the view of the left repeater camera, we can watch the shadows to see that there was actually another car that bumped into the Toyota first, causing a serial bumping. Just as he was exiting his car to inspect the damage, the Mercedes that hit the Toyota sped off, leaving them in a cloud of dust and insurance paperwork. They filed a police report and an insurance claim, but there's no clear license plate number in the Tesla camp footage, so the case is still under investigation. Guan sent us this video of his friend Eric, whose Model 3 got rear-ended at a traffic light while driving home from work in Phelan, California. The other driver's insurance accepted full responsibility. The California Highway Patrol was contacted, but since this happened in the middle of the night and nobody was injured, they didn't bother to show up. Eric didn't feel much of an impact and the damage didn't seem too severe, but a bunch of warnings came up on the screen and he was only able to finish the remaining drive at under 40 miles per hour, barely making it home. Surprisingly, after the damage was assessed, his insurance company determined that the vehicle was totaled. Ah, a Honda! Just kidding guys, if the Honda marketing team is watching this, we just want to say, Hondas are the best! They definitely never bump into things. I don't know why I ever thought otherwise. Oh wait, now I remember. Hashtag Honda Bump. Dan was driving in Dallas, Texas when a Honda bumped into him not once, but twice at a red light. When he got out to speak with the driver, they Honda bumped him again. Dan says that the driver acted as if he were under the influence of something, so Dan instructed him to follow him into a parking lot. There, Dan contacted the police and his insurance company. When the Honda driver heard Dan had a video of the accident, he didn't even try to argue. Later, when Dan reviewed the Tesla cam footage more closely, he spotted the driver at another intersection where he had stopped in the middle of the road and was going against a red light. James was leaving for work early one morning in Franklin, North Carolina when he saw a bird feeder lying in the road. Next, a bear appeared in the middle of the road. Otis was driving his Model 3 on Georgia State Route 400 in Atlanta, Georgia when a truck with a trailer hitch cut in front of a red Hyundai. The Hyundai driver didn't have time to hit the brakes. Unfortunately, Otis was already late on his way to the airport, so he couldn't stop to share the Tesla cam video with the Hyundai driver. Otis hopes that, by sharing the video with us, it might find its way to the Hyundai driver. Alexander had his Model 3 parked in Australia when someone gave his sentry mode a show. La Sue had her Model 3 parked with sentry mode running while she was out with some friends. That's when these guys came by and noticed the Tesla. She thought this was hilarious. One of them noticed when the sentry mode lights flashed at them and they looked worried. If they ever see this, she wants them to know that she thought they were awesome. Marcos was driving his Model 3 in Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada when the lady in front of him changed her mind about turning to the right, so she decided to back up instead. When she first stopped, he didn't honk because he was trying to be courteous. In retrospect, he says he should have honked right away to let her know he was behind her. Her bike rack hit his front license plate and part of his bumper. Marcos first took his car to a local shop, but Tesla wouldn't sell them the license plate bracket. Instead, he had to take it to a Tesla certified body shop an hour away. His Tesla was in the shop for three days before everything got fixed. Carla was driving her Model 3 down I-35 in Texas when a motorcycle passed them at high speed, splitting between cars and being chased by the police. In the distance, we can see the motorcycle continue to speed off with the cops close behind. Mm -hmm. 
Here's another motorcycle video, and it's from Mark, who was driving his Model 3 in Dayton, Ohio, when he saw this motorcycle with a rather unusual passenger. I wonder why his passenger had turned into a skeleton. Let's turn this into another joke riding competition. Whoever comes up with the funniest reason why this rider's passenger turned into a skeleton will win a Wham Bam hoodie. The winner will be picked next Sunday, and we'll announce the winner in a community post here on YouTube. This video's submitter was using autopilot on a highway in the Netherlands when he saw a Mazda cut off a truck and then brake to take an exit. The truck had to brake so hard that the wheels locked up. After a few seconds, the submitter could smell the burnt tires. The Mazda was already too late to take his exit and also crossed two solid lines. We're guessing the truck driver wasn't very impressed with that move. Luckily, they managed to escape unscathed. Here's another video from PJ in Puerto Rico. This time he was driving in heavy rain in Bayamon. He was turning at a traffic light and had just gotten through as the light turned yellow, but the Volvo behind him accelerated to make it through the light as well. PJ braked for a man crossing the street in the rain, and that's when the Volvo rear-ended him. The police arrived at the scene and PJ was able to show them the Tesla cam video. The officer said that he hopes every car will have a built-in dash cam feature in the future. The Tesla only had minor damage compared to the Volvos. The other driver accepted responsibility at the scene. The cost to repair the Tesla was 900 US dollars. PJ says that the repair process was extremely smooth since Tesla opened up its first service center in Puerto Rico in February. They told him that this month alone, they'll be delivering over 300 new Teslas. They're also planning to open another service center and add more superchargers as well. Joe was driving his Model 3 in Boston, Massachusetts when a pedestrian apparently lost his shoe while crossing the street. DJ was on his way to Yosemite National Park one weekend when a Volvo decided to overtake even though there was oncoming traffic. Instead of slowing down and going back into the lane he came from, he decided to continue passing, forcing DJ into oh the shoulder. God. DJ has an older Model S that doesn't have the Tesla cam feature, but he installed an aftermarket dash cam. The added benefit is that this clip actually has audio from inside the car. DJ told us that he loves watching the channel every Sunday and oh as a God. former employee of Honda for over 10 years, the hashtag <laughs> Honda Bump videos never get old. While using autopilot, Colin noticed a pickup truck ahead in the right lane carrying big plywood panels in his truck bed. He thought they looked a bit flimsy, so he kept an eye on them as he approached. Sure enough, a few seconds later, the whole thing blew apart, landing all over the highway. It wasn't too long ago that we saw a video of what can happen when plywood goes flying on the highway. Felix was driving his Model 3 in Pershore, Worcestershire, England, when he turned a corner and saw these cute little guys. He immediately thought of Wham Bam Tesla Cam and decided to share the clip with us. He thought it would be a nice change of pace from all the horrible crashes and thefts that we usually feature. What a great way to end this week's episode. See you all next Sunday. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.